hello, hello, hello. Hopefully that's us live. Let us know. Happy Easter, everybody. I have, hopefully, a really cool project for us all today. Excuse. I'm a very clumsy person, so I've got a cup that I can seal off and it won't spill. Oh, it's saying we're live. Are we actually live? Can anyone see? Can Right, let me know in the chat if everything is working. This is looking... It's saying it's got an excellent connection, but I can't actually see anything. Uh, oh, don't, don't, don't mess this up again. Uh, <laughs> okay, can you guys let me know in chat if I'm working? Oh, might be working now. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Oh, yeah, so who have we got? We've got Aso in the chat. Happy Easter. Um, Faith Mother Goddess. What a perfect name for Easter. <laughs> happy Easter. And Lena, happy blessed Easter. And a little chick coming out of an egg for everyone present. Yay. Okay. I hope everyone is doing absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, it looks like I might actually be live now. Hopefully. Yeah, Lena's saying you can see and hear me. Excellent. For some reason, everything froze up there, but it's seems good now uh, and Sharon's in the house as well hello there Sharon right so I have an exciting thing I'm um, the elephant is on hold till we finished this thing if you haven't seen I haven't done any more of him he's going to be a project we're going to be doing further work on but I thought I'm a little bit behind I thought today is the perfect day to open I have two makers boxes waiting for me. These are the makers subscription boxes that I get every month. And today's is a fluffy chick. And I thought, what a perfect day to do that. So I had to get that done. Um, and this comes as well with a reverse needle felting needle, which I'm excited about. I've been using reverse needles for a while, but I've never got them to make a fluffy effect. I might have ordered to mild stabby ones um i've used them to blend colors oh a quick quick explain before we get there i'll quickly explain about these kind of felting needles so a regular felting needle which is something like this has microscopic barbs on it so basically right i'll get them the right way up so it's like a backwards crochet needle so you've got the needle and it's got all these barbs sort of like this that kind of stick out so if you imagine my fingers <laughs> are a bit of a bit of your fleece, all the fibres are running all about the place. When you stick it in with this little barb, what'll happen is it'll catch a fibre or two and sort of pull them together and mat them together. And when you pull the needle out, nothing happens. So it felts down that way. A reverse felting needle is what it sounds like. The barbs face the other way. So when it goes into the felt, it does absolutely nothing. And then it'll grab onto some fibre and pull it up the way. I know you're all thinking I was going to break my finger there. So it pulls it up the way. So it takes some fibre from underneath and pulls them up. So I used that to blend some colours in the past and it gives beautiful effects. Um, but this is to make the coat, the coat, the, the the chick to make it fluffy. So it'll pull out fibres even more, hopefully, to make a fluffy chick. So I'm excited about that. Um, we got Molly is in the house. Hello there. And Sharon, happy Easter from Vancouver. Helena, I love my lipstick colour. Thank you so much. It's it's a blend of three or four colours. I put one colour on and go, no, that's too orangey, and put some more on. Uh, G. Morgan, yay! Um, <laughs> happy Easter. Remember to eat the chocolate bunny ears first. Is that that so he can't hear you coming later on? Right. <laughs> now I'm excited to open this box. I unwrapped it from its beautiful red packaging to make sure I was opening the right box because, as I said, I've got two. We're going to have a sleepy fox to do after that, I believe. But now we can do the fancy fancy, I hope. That works. Yes, here we go. Is my box on my table. I feel so fancy. So you can all see me open it without me having to drop it everywhere. So, into the box. And here it shows us what it is. Ooh. Just going to tuck the lid under the laptop. And there we go. So this is what the boxes look like. Every time we get the newsletter, I am impressed that they managed to print to create a newsletter and everything out there as well so newsletter with all their 
all their everything um a little tips about tops and yeah um crafty retreats and everything they're do they've got coming up yeah loads of stuff awesomeness and then we have <laughs> our lovely red tissue paper in here because the box comes wrapped in red as well so it's like a little theme so I'll take that all out so it doesn't make too much noise and again newsletter for the fluffy chick telling us we've got April we've already got this this was last month but um, we've already got the sleeping fox to make May will be a fawn and June oh a large painting with wool I'm excited to try that so if you're there's a link below if you want to sign up for the makers boxes and then you can felt along with me if I'm not too late with them um so what have we got in the box we have white yellow two lots of yellow and some pink uh small bird legs black eyes beige florist tape and pipe cleaner exciting um in this project you'll learn how to shape the chick with a white core wool add layers of color on top using the fun technique with a reverse needle to pull through the white core fibers and create a fluffy chick i'm excited about this uh, mixture of fibers create a natural look add to that realistic bird legs and your chick will be running around in no time oh and we hope you enjoy the chocolate treat yay <laughs> brilliant and here's explanations about how to use your um, subscription we have our instructions and like last time I really love this we've got a ruler on the side enough materials to make two chicks and this is a crafty beginner level and he's going to be about 12 centimeters that's the perfect size for me I prefer making little things and yes we even have the little templates love that little feature there so we'll pop that aside while we get excited in here this is my box Oh, they're really nice colours. Um, yep, yeah, so as it says, we've got white, whoops, we've got a mustard yellow, a brighter yellow, and some fleshy pink, and some little bits of pipe cleaner. <laughs> I will not be consuming this live on camera, but that is so cute. We've got a little chocolate Easter egg. Thank you so much, ladies. <laughs> I will enjoy that. Um... Um, oh, <laughs> oh here um they've been putting their little samples of fiber in a little tiny ziploc bag but i kind of like this too it's on a tag i might actually keep a collection of these i have in a lot of companies i've been sending off for their shade packs so i could figure out what what shades i wanted so this will be handy i'll keep the tags if it if it's always going to come like this i'll keep the tags and build up a little collection my own little shade pack so this is the green dyed south american merino tops that's really cool put that to one side uh, this will be the chicks eyeballs yep there's four in there because we're going to have enough to make two chicks which is awesome and this is the reverse felting the yeah it's a 32 course i thought that the ones that i got the size that i thought i would need based on what i use and as a normal felting needle i use a 38 or a 40 so i'd got that and they don't pull out so much so that's cool uh, 32 course so yes i i made a mistake i got the wrong size needle myself so yay hopefully this box is going to help me out with something oh yeah you can totally see the barbs on that and right shouldn't do this but i can fit when i try and run it this way it goes nice and easily no resistance when i try and pull it out there's a small amount of resistance so this and it's got a little kind of green end to the handle so i know that that's my reverse felting needle <laughs> so cute thank you so much ladies for not making me have to do <laughs> legs myself here are the little bird legs that is adorable um, so we've got two pairs of them so i'll put one aside and we've got some florist tape i assume this is for wrapping his little feetsies and that is everything that's in the box so we'll 
pop the box away. I love these boxes. They are so sturdy. I'm going to have to think of uses for them so as not to not to waste them. But yes, they are fantastic boxes. <coughs> Let's pop that aside. <coughs> losing my losing my voice. So, has anybody made the chick? Have you got the chick? Um, and don't forget to share your chicks. You can share them in the Makers, Everyone's a Maker Facebook group, Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends Facebook group, or Ben McFussy Lug's Facebook page. <laughs> and let me know in the chat if you're sharing them. But let me know if you're felting along or if you've already felted. And yeah, let's get started. I'm so nervous to do this one. This is my first one with a dual camera angle, so you can really see all of my mistakes. But let's see what they want. Um, should I? I actually even have. Yes, I thought I did. I even have their felting mats, which is the firm base. So this is the top. I have their felting mat. Turn it over. <laughs> <laughs> I've got sparkles on it. So let's be good and use their felting mat. Um, Lily Tree is in the house. Hello there. Happy Easter, Lily. We are making an Easter chick today. Um, so I need my white. Um, so you have enough wool for two chicks. So split all the wool into two and put one half of it aside for later. Thank you. Great advice <laughs> so far, makers. They always, th their instructions are always so good. So we will, whoops, we will do that. Um, put some feet aside. Put some of this awesome mustard color aside. Uh, yeah, Lily, what color is your chick going to be if you're making one? <laughs> For those who've not been with us before, Lily Tree is a fantastic. Um, wire wrapped jewellery expert and you really need to check out her youtube channel but sometimes she joins in with the felting and doesn't necessarily have all the all the colours or equipment needed and does absolutely awesome madly coloured things it's great fun um and we've got lisa in the house hello there happy easter right so what is it telling us to do take about one fifth of your white core wool and put it aside for the head. <laughs> Make me do math. So that's about half. That's about a quarter. So just less than a quarter. There we go. That looks about right. Um, put that aside. Use the remaining wool for the body. Um, aiming to roll it up to about the size of an egg, really. They say a squat rounded shape. I'm going with an egg. So, and in the template. That looks kind of good. So felty felty with my most stabby needle. So I can get into the chat again. Um, Bexy Boo, happy Easter to you Ben and Mia. Ah, oh, thank you so much. And to you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what's everyone been doing for their Easter? I know there's not most of us are, are locked down, so there's not the wonderful trips to places. Um, I do. It's a beautiful day outside just now, so the temptation would have been quite high. Actually, I'm sort of the opposite of everybody because I'm self-employed and normal life is a bit like lockdown. <laughs> I, I'm in myself most of the time anyway. On holidays like these where it's a lovely sunny day, I would probably not have gone somewhere just because everybody else would have been somewhere. I, I leave my trips to cool places to when there's less people when it's less peopley outside. <laughs> so it's a beautiful day and probably everybody would have been off to the beaches or parks or wonderful places, but knew everybody stuck inside today. Uh, but it's beautiful, so if you hear birds tweeting or dogs barking or children yelling and people telling them to get to their room <laughs> <laughs> that's because I've got the window open um, yeah so <laughs> yeah. but yeah it's a beautiful day um, I hope you had a wonderful day whatever it is anyway um, got something nice for your food I, I appear to have chocolate now to eat for my tea which is awesome and I think I'm going to roast roast duck for, for my tea I'm in the unusual situation just now that 
I'm never usually organised. I will go shopping for food several times a week and just go into the the bargain basement bit and get stuff, whatever's cheap, and just do that. So I'm trying to only go out once a week, so planning ahead and yeah, it's it's very it's it's very not me to have a fridge full of food and have to figure out what I want to eat. Usually I know what's coming, but I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be duck today. A uh, stir fried duck. Um and a little chocolate egg. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna make myself hungry already. We've only just started felting. Um but yeah this is this is just a 38 felting needle but it's a very felty one so that is coming together really really quickly um yeah awesomeness um lily's uh running a bit behind checking her stash for what kind of chick she's gonna make awesome i totally can't wait um Vexy did a dog biscuit eatsy eatsy hunt for the dogs in the garden awesome yeah that's if you have dogs or cats or rabbits or any animal, they do like to forage a bit for their food. It entertains them a bit. So scattering stuff about in your garden, if you have a garden or if you don't. I used to, I think I said this, I can't remember. I um, would occasionally look after my friend's cats when they were away and they only wanted me to check in on them and feed them and stuff. But I figured the poor cats were in by themselves most of the time so I made them a little kibble hunt and hid their food all about the place which was great great fun and they, they seemed to appreciate it um, but yeah with cats it's even more fun like if I hide the dog stuff up high or something like that they don't even look they snuff stuff out on the ground but with the cats I was hiding it behind like windowsills and all over the place because the cats could get everywhere so that was cool um <laughs> Lena's hid hide and find her own eggs around your place. Hey, I, I actually I have um a friend who said last night before they went to bed they hid the eggs for a kid's Easter hunt <laughs> and they forgot themselves where they've hid some of the eggs. So some of them are still missing. <laughs> so yeah, being a little bit senile can totally help with a egg hunt. <laughs> right, I'm just checking this up against the side. Ooh, that I'm doing pretty good there. I'm, I'm proud of me. That's pretty good. So yeah, so we've got we've got a bit of body. Um, keep it fairly softly felted for the next stage, right? So don't get carried away. Take the other fifth and roll it into a little ball. Um, hold the head. Yeah. So make a smaller oval, and then we're going to put it onto the body awesome and for those of you that haven't seen the makers kits are so cool the the instructions are really step by step so that is totally helpful if you haven't done them before not sponsored i've been buying the kits although they have the wonderful ladies do have sent me some things for free as well which i completely appreciate but i have taken out the subscription to support them and i think it's great fun little something for us to do together as well uh so yeah <laughs> but i do find the kits are good it's challenging me and but i always end up with something always so touch wood i've always ended up with something kind of decent out of these kits even though half the time i'm going along going what what's happening here and it's always a slightly different method from how I would have made it which is awesome um other kits I've used in the past can be a bit hit or miss um I think I've said I'm, I'm doing some sort of big expensive kits and the step by step just isn't basically there, there seems to be a lot of steps that seem to say look at what the animal's supposed to look like with pictures of the animal and and make it look like that and you're like yeah i didn't need a kit to tell me to do that i, I need a kit to tell me what shapes you're making and stuff so i can get a better idea okay so i don't want to over felt the head and then it's telling me the head kind of goes very little poking over just sort of on top like that and this is actually quite similar years ago I made videos on 
felting rabbits which fit in for this as well an easter bunny which the base was very much like this and then adding ears to it so very similar project yeah <laughs> and very simple basic shapes which is so handy for anyone to get a start at this more juice excuse the massive noise this is just me sealing the cup again so i don't spill it because i am that clumsy <clears throat> uh bexy had two multiple orders yesterday Woo! made my days it's been so quiet fantastic i think i am seeing that not with everybody but some people are saying things are perking up a little bit um i've heard from some people that their shops are are christmas level busy i'm certainly not but i've been very lazy um so some people are doing fantastic people who have been making masks are talking about the, the ones that have got lucky got good with that um they are seeing fantastic fantastic runs in their shops on the masks they're making so if you can if you can sew and it's okay in your country to to do things like that then making mask masks can be such a cool thing um or other things um hand sanitizers soap little takeout bottles of them fantastic all this kind of thing good but i am absolutely sure that people stuck in their house if if your mate has their birthday just now some qu quarantine birthdays um if your mate has their birthday you can't you can only go to the supermarket to get essentials so i don't think you want to get your mate's birthday present out of asda so people are coming online and buying things that you can send off so yeah don't give up on your shops but don't put money into it if if you're totally skint as well but don't give up on your shops they're doing not bad i've had i've had a couple of reasonably big sales which is good and quite a few inquiries as well i really do need to work a bit harder on my shop but so many other things to be doing it's crazy I, everyone else is saying they're bored and i'm just like i have got a ridiculous amount i'm trying to make videos i'm trying to trying to keep up with everyone in e-rank i'm trying to keep up with my friends which is so important as well and trying to walk the dogs um i've been going a bit crazy with the exercising so yeah but <laughs> i'm super busy need to do more work on the shop right um i think maybe yes your head's poking out a little bit too far i'll smooth that over a bit but right let's keep stabbing over all over the shape and to firm it give it a round rounded and smooth shape yeah so i want to kind of get that head in a little bit but overall the shape's kind of looking good <laughs> yeah so how's everyone else's shops doing if you're selling online are you are you doing okay are you being quiet have you closed up just just let me know how you're getting on with that i hope everyone's kind of doing okay oh go, go. my heating's coming on wonderful i should have switched that off because it's roasting in here um because there is can i can i actually show you look at how bright that is that's sunshade <laughs> it's scotland we don't see that kind of thing very often um okay so what we have to be doing next take some of the yellow tops and lay over the back um, ah i see so we're putting the tops over this and then we're going to cover the whole chick so this will when we use the reverse needle these will come through and give the back a slightly different color that is super clever so yeah i'm putting this on and they do seem to have almost a, like a taily shape here yeah so so when you've got this over the top and you pull through hopefully it should give a little blend that's i, I see i'm learning i like this good job guys um so that's on take the yellow take the yellow back working in small sections cover the whole of the chick yeah 
Okay, so I can I can do that. Cover the whole of the chick in yellow. Is anyone else um is anyone else creating a chick just now or has anyone already made it? Just let me know in the comments how you're getting on with this. I know I know we have a few people over from the makers having having a look at this too. So um and if you haven't seen oh can anyone leave a link? I don't think I, I can't just now. But the makers are doing regular needle felting live videos through the week as well to keep us keep us going in this time. So you totally should check them out. The makers are such lovely, lovely ladies. And their, their live streams now are great fun. I catch them whenever I can. I'm losing track of the times of the days and everything, but I do try and catch their live streams whenever I can which is great and them thinking up different projects for the kits and then different projects to do on the lives I am totally impressed um, yeah and hopefully I'm not embarrassing them too much by making this <laughs> by making my chick too too terrible but yes I'm gonna get him covered I don't think I don't need to keep any of the yellow wool for anything so that's cool Um, I can just use up all of what's left here but I might save some just for fun uh, but we'll see how he goes uh, and it's saying for the head I want to felt around to f um, to make a more pointed beak area as well so I'll get on that as well but let's, let's smooth him out oh, missed a spot but yeah, this is a lovely mustard colour too. And then I'm intrigued how this other colour is going to come through in the back. That is cool. And that's something I never thought of. So yeah, I've learnt something. Uh, which is always cool. Um, oh wow, we have got 22 people watching just now. Awesome. Um, everyone let us know where you're from and what you're up to. Um, and if it's your first time on my streams, on one of my streams, I would love to hear from you. Um, CG CJ Phoenix Dragon, hello there, happy Easter. <laughs> I, I I feel like I really want it because this is so simple. I feel like I'm if I mess up a chicken shape, that is just a terrible thing. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is kind of working out. Where do I want the beak a little bit further down. So yeah, if anyone hasn't felted before, you can sculpt the shapes by how you stab in. Um, as as I explained at the start, when you stab, you're felting down in the direction that you're stabbing. So if I if I'm strategic about where I stick my needle, then that influences how the shape goes. So always think about that when you're when you're felting and you can totally that's why it's called a 3d sculpture because we are sculpting it <laughs> with the needle but yeah this um these fibers always felt together really well and really quickly which is great we should have a chick in no time um judy um hi from canada hello there canada <laughs> i've actually got loads of loads of friends i haven't um oh the makers we've got steffi in the house that's cool so everyone the makers in chat if you click on click the three dots by their name in chat that'll take you to their youtube channel that you should be able to subscribe and be able to catch up on their live streams too because it's totally awesome to be able to watch watch someone else felting and maybe join in some extra projects during the week yeah I'm hoping this is starting to look a bit chickeny. <laughs> Steph, Steffi, just tell me if I'm doing anything wrong <laughs> now that you're here. Keep keep me right. Um uh, G Morgan from Minnesota. The snowbanks are shrinking. Oh wow, if it doesn't start snowing again this afternoon. Wow, yeah, we thankfully we're we're well past snow stage. I even I put some of my plants outside. <laughs> <laughs> this is me attempting to to gardening. I'm not doing very great. I cleared I cleared a kind of bed area at the back of my garden. I was planning I've got broccoli to plant out there and I was going to put out some salad stuff there. It's in a lovely sheltered sunny position. Turned my back and the dogs had kind of fluffed it up and made it into their own little 
bed. So I, I kind of I feel bad to steal their bed off them, but I also kind of feel if I plant anything in there, then they're kind of gonna dig it all up. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. So hopefully I've got some of the salad leaves in the tubs that I planted up a couple of weeks ago. They're now outside because it's not too cold at night and they haven't died. I, plants always do better the further away from me they are. So as soon as I can get them outside, they've got a much better chance. Um, but I'd planted... How long have we been in lockdown? Three weeks. Yeah, just, just over three weeks ago I'd planted some tomato seeds. And I thought they weren't doing well. Um, I've got the compostable plant pots. And they don't hold the moisture so well. So I kind of forget to water them sometimes. So I thought they weren't going to work. So I planted some more tomato seeds in a different tub. I've got about 20 tomato plant, tomato seedlings. So they're not all going to survive. But I, I, might, I might even get some tomatoes this year. I'm... I'm firstly terrible at gardening, but also our climate is not the best to grow things like tomatoes. So we'll see. Fingers crossed for me. But yeah, that's my adventure into other things. Um, oh, G Morgan, hit the like button. I only saw two. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, it's, I can actually check on that. Yeah, seven likes. So yeah, that's okay. Cool. That's good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Steffi saying, looking, my chick's looking good. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I do love that this is a project I would have never tried myself. So I completely love it. It's a bit of fun. Um, Bexy is in Cambridgeshire in the UK. It's rather hot today. Yeah, it's very, it's, it wasn't so nice this morning, but yeah, we've got wall to wall, wall blue skies just now. The birds have moved on. They were being quite chirpy earlier. Um, Molly lays out for about black for about five minutes, but being black, she soaks up the heat and goes into the shade. Oh, yeah, Bexie has Molly, a lovely black. She's a black lab, isn't she? She's beautiful. Um, but yes, and my dogs are mainly white, but the dark bits on them are like the top of their head, which gets super hot. Um, my boy Ben doesn't do well in the heat. Um, my girl Mia likes to lie out in it and sunbathe until she can barely get up. I have to move her on, else she will just bake herself. Um, CJ Phoenix is from British Columbia in Canada. Awesome. Uh, Faith Mother Goddess is in Norfolk in the UK, and it's a beautiful day. Had our egg hunt, and they're sitting down enjoying some felting. Ah, oh, awesome! Someone else felting <laughs> with me. Cool, cool, cool. I don't. I don't think I've ever actually done an Easter egg hunt. Um, what we used to do as as kids, a um, couple of things at schools and everything, we had to decorate the eggs, um, which were always excellent puns. Uh, Rosani needs to be here. She, she's our queen of puns. Um, but yes, that, that was always fun. Decorate them up. There would always be like a Dalek one with exterminate and all, all sorts of stupid puns. And then the tradition, I think from my dad, way up in the north of Scotland, the tradition was to to roll your eggs down the hill. So you just, you rolled your eggs until all the shell cracked off and then you ate a, a muddy, smashed up egg. Yay! <laughs> Sounds great. That's probably why my immune system's so great. <laughs> Uh, Bexy, yeah, uh, Faith Mother Goddess isn't too far away from Bexy Boo. Boo. <laughs> the makers, the magic happens when you use the reverse needle. I know, absolutely. You missed, you missed me saying I've had reverse um, needles for absolutely forever, but I'd got a, I think it was a 38 and a 40 gauge reverse needles, and I was like, okay, they're good for blending, but I don't get these wonderful effects that people get. So I'm actually really exciting to use. The needle um, to the, to use the proper needle, which yeah, there we go, which I put down here. I'm excited to to get using this, but I want right. I I will check. I will I will check with the experts. But I've always found even with my my weaker felting needles, I've always found it's fairly important to felt relatively firmly because when you're pulling the fibers out again, then you can really you're pulling fibres out so it's better to have a relatively dense-ish shape to start with so that you're not deforming it so much 
Um, but yeah, one thing I've used the reverse needles for a lot is dogs like um, Australian cattle dogs that have highly ticked but short. There's Mia joining the stream. Mia, darling, could you not? Um, yeah, Mia's found something to share. Dogs that have like ticks, which is like lots of tiny spots on a really thin on a really thin coat. So I want lots and lots of tiny spots, but don't want them to look like a dal dalmatian. So say it's black spots on a white coat. I'll run um, a load of black as a base coat and then cover it in white and then pull the bits <laughs> pull the bits out and that just makes a fantastic effect um i forgot where i was going with that there absolutely <laughs> uh bexies yeah molly's a black lab yes um <laughs> ah faith mother goddess is is from the makers awesome to see you stopping <laughs> um on the same side for a change with no bloopers yeah um steffi it's it's completely different to be able to just sitting in the chat isn't it but i think you've done fantastic the the makers just decided um to start doing the live streams they, they have a wonderful youtube channel already and have done proper edited videos but just started to do the live streams with the current crisis and everything so yeah it's a bit of a, a yeah <laughs> it, it's tough to get started I've had so many difficulties um, with live streams and so you guys have done absolutely awesome a few little technical glitches but I have technical glitches every <laughs> every stream I actually tried I think four times this afternoon I tried before I got this stream up and running which is why I'm always like can you let me know if this is working because literally I hit the go button and it goes no something's wrong and you're like what I'm not technical enough um art love handmade hello thumbs up for me thank you so much um <laughs> Faith Mother Goddess got to, got the boxes yesterday. Yeah, to, the links in the description for the subscription boxes. But the makers have loads of other boxes, um, loads of other kits, loads of other stuff. Um, I've seen they're doing uh, fairy boxes and surprise wool boxes and all sorts of things. So. <laughs> <laughs> Lena saying blessed to hear Mia yeah Mia wants her chance because she used to be able to come up and, and sit on my knee when I when I was downstairs but then I couldn't do this funky two camera angle um, yeah so she's she's making sure she gets her shot in the stream again um, uh, Bexy if you search sometime for 25 Labrador tricks you'll find her um, in a vid from my other account <laughs> awesome I I actually I think I've seen that that really rings a bell but yeah everyone search for 25 Labrador tricks I love I always love seeing crafty well not craft well call them crafty dogs dogs that can do loads of stuff I really should film mine a bit more <laughs> Steffi steep learning curve thankfully I can laugh at myself oh you have to be able to yeah I I've had all sorts of issues with streams i think we all have and hopefully everyone watching can totally understand that is none of us are big wonderful production companies we don't have loads of staff helping us i'm just a middle-aged woman in my spare bedroom <laughs> um and all of this has taken quite a lot to figure out and if it goes wrong i have no idea what i'm doing <laughs> <laughs> basically so yeah if if you forgive us when things go a little bit wrong because yeah we don't know what we're doing but we're just trying to do it it's a bit of fun um and it's something to while away an afternoon um bexy chicky is really coming together thank you yes he's not bad at all i don't know how much more smoothing i should go before i'm, I'm dying to get into the the reversing more juice and this insulated cup from my mum at Christmas um, Bexy what's the difference between normal and reverse felting needle I did actually go into this at the start but I will cover it again really quickly so a felting needle is a bit of metal with barbs on it um, and think of them like really tiny crochet hooks which is 
really not what they're like at all <laughs> but it's easiest to do there um and basically a normal felting needle when you felt in it gathers the fiber and pushes them down so i'll do i'll do the demo with my hand again so it's like right <laughs> i'm trying to do right it, can we go full face that's probably easier so basically oh the sun's very bright sorry about that anyway but basically so you've got like your needle and it's got like an upside down crochet hook on it yeah that way around <laughs> it's got like an upside down crochet hook on it so when you stab it in imagine this is the fibers when you stab it in that hook will grab onto bits of fiber and drag them down and pull them in the down way but when you lift up it does nothing because the hook's in that direction but if you've got a reverse felting needle it's the opposite way so it's a hook more like this so when you stab down it does nothing and then it'll hook onto some fibers and pull them up the way so it's going to take stuff from the inside and make it the outside i hope that kind of makes sense it's a very simplified view but that's kind of what it's doing normal felting felt down reverse felting pulls up basically and back saying that oh, oops sorry missed the start yeah no problem at all i don't mind repeating myself i'm sure there's the people join in and hopefully they don't mind hearing um g morgan's the charm of watching yeah i've always loved youtube lives are different than anything else because yeah it is just as normal people messing up and chatting away and stuff and um, the same Twitch and, and all those those other things as well. I've got a friend who's doing um, Twitch DJ sets just now, which is great fun, just sitting in the chat, talking away to your friends and dancing around your living room where he's in his, his sitting room with his DJ set up all, all by himself. <laughs> but it's great fun. Uh, Steffi, best thing somebody said to me, we love you making mistakes, it makes you one of us. That is it, exactly. That's that's the charm of all these platforms i think is it is it's just real people we're not perfect we make mistakes but hopefully hopefully we can in inspire a bit of creativity in everybody and i know your streams certainly do that um Lily, it's been interesting to see the big production companies' results when they've been powered back to f to streaming from home. I I haven't caught much of live TV and stuff, but I have seen that some places are doing that. And yeah, it is totally different when people when presenters are having to set up and present from home without all their their kit that they're used to and all the staff and cameramen and everything because because yeah I'm, I'm doing this i'm being my own cameraman as you can see when the hand goes to the mouth mouse and that's how i'm changing my camera angles <laughs> oh fancy and technology <laughs> and and yeah so that i i bet they've all had to panic and learn super quickly as well right okay i think that's that's felted enough probably um so the head wants to be slightly narrower than the body when viewed from above, which I think it is. Okay, right. I'm going to have to read this bit. I'm excited. We're going on to the reverse bit. Read the reverse tips. Hold the chick at the head. Take your take your reverse needle. Let's actually do it while I'm talking it. Right. Hold the chick at the head. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm nervous. Um, take your reverse needle and push it in a little way to the wool at the tail and then pull it pull back oh oh yeah wow yeah that's a lot more grabby <laughs> um repeat until you have fluffy areas around the tail right um yee <laughs> oh yeah cool so oh i yeah i totally get this a lot more now you don't have to go too deep in at all because it's a good fluffy needle that is cool pull the fibers outward and yeah it's it's collecting some on the needle as well got it right so you do all this until you get a load of fuzziness and then trim it down ah cool oh yeah that like yeah you can see that in the camera as well yeah okay that's much better than how i've been using a reverse needle in the past so that's making it Fluffy. 
cool yay so yeah so it's pulling out in the direction that you pull it out so you can sort out the coat that way but yeah this makes so much more sense to me now yeah so i can just go in a little way or i can go in deep to get different different colors of fiber coming out that is so cool thank you ladies <laughs> yay i've got a proper felting needle that does the actual thing it's supposed to who knew the, the right equipment helps no end i don't think i'm going to get anything as cute as your chick as you can see it, it does look so fluffy and gorgeous um and we're supposed to keep some of this fluff that's coming out of him as well and i can see yeah some of it's coming out white but some of it's coming out with different shades of yellows as well that's so much fun that is so cool <laughs> yay so I, I i might be using reverse felting needles for everything from now on that is so much better than I, I should i should actually have brought up my reverse felting needles so i could show you how absolutely rubbish they are compared to this i'm i'm sold <laughs> um uh, faith mother goddess i keep worrying you're going to stab your fingers when reading our messages out <laughs> chicky's looking good thank you so much um i do stab myself sometimes but i've been felting up in the air for so long now that you sort of get a feeling it's a bit different with a reverse needle this is a different different creature <laughs> um you get a feeling for where your hands are in the world so you stab yourself less I've also learnt to swear more quietly than I used to because that would get me into trouble with YouTube. <laughs> um, but no, I, I don't stab myself too much. Actually, the worst I ever did, it wasn't a live, it was a, a video. Um, I was doing one of my pom-pom animals. If you haven't seen them, they're so much fun as well. I'll have to do some more pom-pom animals at some point. But I was trying to cut it out of the pom-pom maker and the scissors slipped and caught my hand. It wasn't bad, but I, I had to edit later to, to hide the bits where I'd cut myself. <laughs> um, but general felting, my the tips of my fingers are kind of like leather, um, if I'm totally honest. So that probably is why I don't hurt myself so much. Look at this fuzzy butt! <laughs> so, distracted to myself. I'm nervous about trimming him that I don't mess this up because <laughs> this is so much fun. Um, but anyway, right, I digress. Um, G. Morgan, an hours old chick. Cute. <laughs> yeah, that's it. He's still got his fuzziness on. Uh, makers yeah um mine is my reverse needles are too too fine i didn't realize when i ordered them many years ago um and i got i just ordered in the 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 size of reverse needle that i've always ordered for my regular needles so i got a 38 and i got a 40 <laughs> a reverse felting needle and they don't do very much without like it takes a lot of stabbing for them to do anything so this is like witchcraft to me <laughs> in comparison the fuzziness is great i see correct tools make all the difference i'm just nervous that this is going to trim and look halfway as nice as yours because <laughs> but anyway i'm loving this so far but I'm, I'm putting off the trimming because I'm always bad at those kind of bits <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, Lily Tree's Eddie Doubt stabbed bleeding fingers before that I'm glad it's not just me yeah I, I see when people look and they say they can't believe how I can do this without hurting myself Lily with wires and pliers and all sorts of clever things I have no idea I am f I just the only wire I do is with an armature to start a sculpture and I struggle so much until I've got that that armature made I'm stabbing myself in the face I've got wire going everywhere so I have no idea how you manage Lily it's so awesome so yeah as I said get over to Lily Lily Tree's YouTube channel if you're looking for something else to do um wire wire wrap jewelry did you do an elephant yet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
um, but Lily is also now a fantastic needle felter um, <laughs> Steffi you'll be fine trimming it just don't go for it just go for it don't do a number one on it <laughs> yeah don't trim it too much that's I can see that I might do that I'm trying not to touch the fluffy bit but I keep distracting myself I really should get a handle for this as well I see it it is really quite grabby so it'd be a good idea to have a nice handle to hold on to this so I might I might treat myself to a a pretty handle <laughs> but yeah it's cool um really nice effects that you can control how much or how little you pull through you get like big big chunks or sort of controlled little bits of fluff I'm enjoying <laughs> See, that, that's why I love doing kits and tutorial, you know, different things because it challenges you to try things. I would have, if I was going to do a chick, I would have probably tried to find a way to add add fluff on top of it. But this is so much easier and so much more fun. Well, we've we've not seen how it turns out yet, <laughs> but hopefully it turns out good. Um. Right, I'm gonna. I'm supposed to be trimming this as I go along, so I've just been putting it off. I'll try trimming a little bit, not too close though, not a number one. <laughs> you can tell when I'm concentrating because I go all quiet. <laughs> all right, is that trimmed enough? Oh, I can come back and trim it again later. Oh, that is so sweet. That is so much fun. It's much softer looking than I anticipated using the reverse needle. It's very cute. And obviously it comes out in the direction you pull it out so you can control where the feathers are going to go well the floof it's not really feathers <laughs> that is so adorable oh, I can see that would make really cute like kind of teddy fur as well yeah that's gorgeous Okay, right. Yeah, scratch what I said about felting really firmly as well, though, because the bits where it's firmer is getting even harder to <laughs> harder to pull out bits. So you don't need to go necessarily too firm with the with the correct tools. <laughs> oh, that's so cute, though. That is gorgeous! So fluffy! And you can go over it again once it's trimmed if you need more fluffiness. Yes! <laughs> and what I've done with the oof, less good felting needles um just for if you're looking to blend stuff you can pull it out and then felt felt in again and pull it out and felt in again that gives you a blendiness um which can give a really nice coat pattern too or if you pull out and trim almost right down to nothing then you get the little spots try not to flatten the fuzz 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 while i'm holding them little more trimming I don't want to overdo the fluffy because every time I touch him that kind of it's gonna flatten out some of the fuzz Just grooming a fluffy chicken a little bit <laughs> that's really cute um let's let's move on anyway so I can stop just squeeing at my fluffy chicken <laughs> um mix a little pink and yellow wool together 
here's the pink. And a little yellow. I assume this is the leftover, the fluff yellow. Um, just mixing them together by pulling apart. If anyone's doing this, um, you just hold at the edge really loosely and just pull. You're not like, if you hold too close, then you're breaking the fibres. I'm just letting the fibres blend over each other and then restack. Um, okay, take a wisp of this mixed colour, fold it in half, and then roll it up horizontally. And felt the bent part on the mat, <laughs> leaving fluffy edges. I'm not even sure what this... I don't know what I'm making here. Oh, that is going to be his beak, so that's possibly a little too big, but we can sort it out. Uh, spreading out the loose fibres. That's cool, that'll come down. pop this onto his face <laughs> okay his beak might be a little bit big I should have read ahead to see what I was actually making there but that's my bad but work from all angles to securely attach the beak And yeah, the saved up fluffy bits is to cover over where the extra pink's gone. That's cool to know. Oops. Just to blend that in a bit. Cool, 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 cool. We're going to felt dents for the eyeballs, for the eye sockets. I'm gonna put, I've kept some actual yellow. I'm going to cheat and cover that up a little bit more. I think I overdid the... <laughs> I definitely overdid the beak. So let's, let's cover that up a bit more. And that's a bit of a sharp beak as well. It looks a bit predatory. It's supposed to be a chick, not something terrifying. Okay, there we go, beaky. Um, oh, cover that. Um, okay, so little dents for where his eyeballs are going to go, which is somewhere about here, I think. Looking at the picture, they have quite forward little eyes, so make it in. Now, this is what I'm really bad at, is getting even, getting the same each side. Let's hope for the best. Now his face looks squint. Oh, I'm just going to add a little more that side of his beak kind of crumpled in a bit more because I hadn't felted it well enough. It's so much harder when people are watching you. <laughs> right. Okay, so we've got some eye dents. I think my chick is looking actually like a little duck just now. <laughs> <laughs> but adorable. I'm I'm in love anyway. Um, okay, take your felting needle and push it into the middle of the dent. Yeah, so we're just making a hole for the eyeballs to go into. Okay, 
I forgot to bring glue upstairs with me to glue them in, but they, they'll stay put, hopefully. This is his eyeballs. The eyes are the bit that'll either make it or break it. <laughs> because that brings your critter to life when you stick the eyes in it's a bit I usually kind of wait really late to do just because I'm kind of nervous about messing it up <laughs> okay that's kind of cute <laughs> it's kind of a little deformed and a bit worried looking but it's kind of cute I want to back comb him a little bit more. Whoops. Yeah, this is cool. Really yeah, that's it. If I just go a tiny bit then I get yellow floof. He still does look a little bit ducky, I won't lie, but that's me. <laughs> that's not the kid. <laughs> Just groom him a little bit. <laughs> he is fluffy. <laughs> oh, and um, Steffi's been working on a large phone for the Maybox this weekend. Oh, I can't wait to see that. I've still got, we still have the Sleeping Fox box to do. Um, but looking forward to that. Uh, <laughs> Lily gave up on chicken chick a while back. Um, <laughs> thank you everybody, you're being most kind. Um, where have we got to? Oh, eyelids, eyelids. Where have I put everything? Um, take a wisp of the trimmed fibre to form a thin line. And top Ah, cool. Good thinking. Okay, so we're going to do a little eyelid. I think I probably felt it in too... I reversed in too far and got more white fibre than yellow there. So we'll dive in with some yellow because it does look more yellow. Um, so we want, yeah, top and bottom eyelids. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, why are you making wings? Cool, I didn't realise that. Awesome. Um, Susan, fun to see on Easter now. I need a reverse needle. Yeah, um, you can do most of these steps without the reverse needle, but the reverse needle does... Yeah, I, I'm in love now. I really... I, I wondered what everyone was banging on about when they said they... Uh, you will take it... <laughs> Sorry. Um, right, I need. Which is my last felting needle? This one. Um, <laughs> I wondered why everyone was always so excited about reverse felting needles, and I, I think I understand a bit better now. When, when you get the right one, it works so much better. Let's actually, open the little chicken's eyes so he doesn't look all evil. <laughs> Although evil chicken. <laughs> Here we go, try and make him have nice wide open sleepy baby eyes. I just chat amongst yourself when I'm concentrating on doing this. <laughs> Right, I'm I'm excited to not mess up the wings, hopefully. There we go, we made this side not evil. It's an actual eyelid. But yeah, baby animals always seem to have the kind of sleepy, cute eyes. I suppose, it's like in the Matrix, they've not used them before. <laughs> um... 
And yeah, Susan, the makers have reverse have these these reverse felting needles on their website. So there is a link to the makers in the description here. Um, okay, take your coarser felting needle and felt a crescent shaped dent just below the shoulder. So that'd be like I've got you, got you. I think I think I've got it. Um, So it's like your wing would be here, little thing. I I am still making this rather more ducky than chickadee. <laughs> right, I I am assuming you do it at both sides. But yeah, that's cool. Okay. So that's where his wing will be and pull the fibres out more at his wing. Cute! Okay. Oh, I'm going a bit mad with the reverse felting, but we're, we're making a wing. <laughs> Trying to see how that's showing on camera. That is adorable. Okay, and trim a little bit because somebody might have gone a bit mad there. But yeah, that's cute. His brand new little wings. <laughs> <laughs> um okay. Oh Pam actually read things. Yeah, so I've got a this is what I've talked about already, so you can felt out and then felt these in slightly to a wing shape rather than trimming it. Yay, so that gives the impression of a wing up there. That is so cool. <laughs> what a cute idea. Um, felt down above the tail area to give the back more of a rounded shape. out some fibres where his leg area is going to be. <laughs> I think I've got that. Okay. Oh, this is, this is where I'm not sure I'm going to get this right. So for the feet. Feet. Bend one pipe cleaner length and place it underneath the outer toes to add bulk. Oh, I have got to wrap florist tape on camera with you watching. This is this is gonna be bad. It's not gonna work. Um, wrap the florist tape. Okay. Okay. Oh, that this is not gonna work. It is going to, I'm just too clumsy for this, right? I'm just going to take off a little bit and try it that way because y you've all seen me. I'm, I'm, I'm clumsy. <laughs> we, we've met. Okay. Flores tape. Oh, this is, and my nails are too, all, all the excuses. <laughs> I'm so bad at doing things like this. Which is crazy because I know like most of you, like I can wrap my fleece round wire without any help from anything, but I can't do things like this. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so fiddly. <laughs> gonna, right, gonna totally manage this and stop whinging. And I want to build it up to about four millimeters. Sorry, 
you check? I'm just so not good at things like this. Okay, right, I'm determined this is going to kind of work. Um. Okay, yeah, so they're leaving a tiny bit of the white out to make it look like his little toenails. Do you call them toenails on chickens? I don't know. Um, but anyway, so yeah. And this is going to be his feeties. Sorry, I can't get back into chat just now because I'm actually having to concentrate on doing this. This is the one thing I'm super not good at, but at least florist tape's kind of good in that it holds to itself and behaves fairly well. There we go, that's one two done. Um, I'll just encourage two number two into the right place. And I'll get some more tape in a second. Okay, kind of getting there. Um, oh, Jim Morgan, you've got it. You've been called away. Well, you take care. Thank you for joining us. Um, <laughs> oh, hey there, Jeffy. How are we coping with staying at home? Actually, for me, it's not been too bad because. I work from home most of the time anyway. Um, obviously, like missing being able to go out and meet your friends and stuff, but and very much missing my dog training clients or or their dogs. <laughs> One of my friends that I train with, she's got a puppy who's like I don't know, she's about six or seven months old, and so I'm I'm missing that important time with her puppy just now. Hopefully, she'll remember me when when they can all come back. Um, but other than that, yeah, coping pretty well here. I am super lucky that where I stay, I've got lots of nice walks I can get to. Um, so, yeah, but it's different. I I miss being able to just jump in my car and drive to all the all the pretty walks in my area. But I can get to I can get to some, and I can keep busy, and it's not bad. Yeah, how's how's everybody else doing? What are <laughs> Have, have things changed a lot or a little bit for you just now? Um, the only difference between the shape of a chick and a duckling is the chick's more upright and the duckling's more parallel to the ground. Ah, thank you. Yeah, that does make sense. Um, middle toe. Place of pipe. Got you. Yeah, middle toe does does the same but different that's going to go like that kind of I am so fiddly with these things but it's getting there it's it's kind of looking good ish I just am not practiced at this kind of thing because even when I'm when I'm wrapping to fibers to felt I don't do them very perfectly, very neatly, because I know I'm going to felt them. Whereas with this, I know this is going to be on the outside. Everyone's going to see this, so I've got to try and make it look kind of good, which is not easy. I I need to practice more wrapping well. Um, but yeah, I'm excited how this is going to work. I do look. I am very appreciative that you gave us the actual feet shape. I would not have been able to. <laughs> <laughs> to bend feet very well. Um, but yeah, that's super cute. I will probably not do this as neatly as I could have done. Um, because I'm just trying to get through this just now. But it's looking feety. If that's the correct term. I was going to use some kind of term with ped pedo or pe but yeah that's too easy to go into to go from feet into something that's not that, that's completely different we won't go there um oh thank you um make sure and stretch the florist tape a little so it sticks to itself thank you so much yes good 
good tip but <laughs> yes it, it's it's like strange crepe paper so it, it it does have a tiny bit of give and it kind of goes back in on itself yes good good tip there it's, I've only I used it in making my big dragon several years ago to hold the bits of wire together because it was such a large armature get back in there um it was such a big armature so i found the florist tape really nice to hold the joints together and cover over any pokey bits and stuff oh did we let your toes get covered up there um, yeah i am terrible at wrapping things lily i need you here um lily's chicken is sitting down and he may be a goose well we <laughs> <laughs> we have to see this then. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of rubbish at following instructions, Lily. <laughs> which I'm glad for. <laughs> okay, that's it. it's not going to be the best looking feet in the world. I apologise. But, but yeah, this is definitely somewhere I'm not the best at. But still, he will hopefully be able to stand up, which is is always handy. <laughs> Yeah, gooselings are super cute, so yeah. If he's a goose, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> Last two to wrap. As you can see, I can't talk as much here because I'm having to concentrate because I'm really not going to do this. But it's cool, as I say, this is like totally different from what I would normally do, so it's always good to challenge yourself with something different so sort of like tiny bandages <laughs> and yeah just giving them that little bit of a stretch and they stick to themselves a little bit better but yes I'm not good at fiddly things um, Uh, oh, Faith Mother, you're you're shielded, so it's hard to be stuck in. Yeah, oh, I know that's difficult. Um, met so many of our community who want to help. Oh, that's lovely, which is brilliant. Yeah, that's really sweet. Um, you've been busy making gifts to say thank you. Oh, that is lovely. Yeah, for for those that that don't know, for those not in the UK, um, vulnerable people, people with compromised health or elderly or all sorts of things um have been been asked to be we, we call it shielded they're more um more locked down they were asked to lock down for three months um and really really keep themselves safe because they're more fun just more vulnerable people in our community so it's really cool that the communities all getting together and trying to help out. I know I was the same. Um, I got sick right at the start of lockdown, as you do. Um, but as soon as I, I had posted that, so many people were offering to help and stuff. But thankfully, for once in my life, I'd been sensible and I had all of the, all that I needed for the length of time that I needed to be in. But yes, three months you certainly can't <laughs> um, can't have everything you need for then. So it's great that people are are helping out and looking after each other and they can in some ways it's always kind of good that you can see you know the, the good in people that these kind of things do bring out the good as well as as well as the idiots that will be sitting sunbathing just now and thinking it's not a big deal because it won't get them um i believe that one of the american people um, idiots, one of the young people at spring break when they were all like oh yeah we're going to go out and do whatever they want I think one of them got sick and he's since published an apology saying yeah he was an idiot so not that I wanted them to get sick but at least they've they've realised the error of their ways um, because certainly it's not just the elderly and the vulnerable that can get sick everybody's at risk i've got a, just now i know of um 
three people that are in intensive care. Um, I live close to Glasgow, so we're sort of the the hot spot for Scotland. Um, I know three people in intensive care, and one of them's younger than me. So, not that I, I know quite a lot of you'll be, <laughs> I'll be looking and going. I'm old enough, but I'm certainly not considered any kind of risk category. So there's no. Yeah, there's no saying that even if you are young and healthy, it's not like, no, it won't affect me so I can go out and do what I want. No, nope, everybody's at some level of risk. So, yeah, <laughs> don't be idiots and help help each other where you can. Um, where did I get to? Uh, Lily Tree's just working with what I've got. Yeah, no, I love it. <laughs> I can't wait to see your gooseling chick duck um, thing. Is Is it in... Well, I don't think gooselings are yellow, are they? <laughs> Gooseys are yellow. But <laughs> have you have you picked sort of sensible colours? <laughs> um, and yeah, what a lovely thing to do making the gifts. I completely agree there. Right, last wee bit, and then I think I'm. Uh, I would do the legs better. I, <laughs> I would spend more time to wrap them, but yeah, that does involve like 20 minutes of me sitting in silence trying to do this. So hopefully you, you see enough of what I'm trying to do here and you can see that if you have, if you have the kit or if you have, I believe these legs are for sale separately as well. So if you have them, you can have a go at, at doing them better yourselves. Um, I seem to have made a, a webbed toe there. So we'll just do slightly other one there. Don't, don't tell the makers. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's close enough. If it's something he can stand on. And they're saying um, they love the legs. They're joined at the back and much easier to fit. You can cut the bendy join off once the... Ah, oh, once the legs are firmly glued and dry. Ah oh, yeah, good good point. So that's good to just stabilise them and then you could cut that bit off. But I do like that. It does it does make it a whole lot easier. It's a bit fiddly to get in and about, but once once you do they're really nice and stable. So that is pretty cool. Um it says for a more realistic look, bend the legs backwards at the ankle and then straight up again at the top of the legs. I don't have oh I don't need my plat they are really cool. Um yeah, that's a nice wire. Am I still on camera? Yay, so that bent really easily. <coughs> cool. Um, hold the legs flat on the table. Felting pad away. Um, hold the chick on top and gently wiggle the... Oh, I've never done it like that. Um, slowly easing the, <laughs> easing the chick down onto his feet. Don't use brute force. Let it wiggle. Let the wiggles do the work. Awesome. <laughs> if the chick falls backwards, the legs need to be... Fr oh, he's standing. You, you guys can't see that too great. Um, when you're happy with the position, glue the legs in. Um. <laughs> okay, it's not perfect, but that's me, not, not the kit. Um, I think I've put his legs a little bit too far back. <laughs> I don't mind. Um, and your chick is finished, right? What we will do? Go back to here. Oh, his legs fell off as soon as I went to pick him up because I don't have the glue with me. But anyway, <laughs> he's a little bit fluffy. I did go a bit crazy with that, but. Nothing's glued in place. <laughs> but I've done it too. Oh, he's so fuzzy. <laughs> That's adorable. Yeah. So I I has I has made chicken. Um if you guys have made a chicken, gooseling or whatever, uh feel free to put it up on Pam Duffy's crafty friend. Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends, Ben McFuzzy Lugs, or on the Makers. Um, if you can tag me, and then I'll be able to see it, and we might be able to share them. Um, but yeah, <laughs> the Makers, Makers Girls, thank you so much. I had a load of fun with that, <laughs> that little guy. Obviously, his legs need glued in, and everything needs 
needs sorted a little bit. I've probably bent his legs a little bit too far, but <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. He's He's got his own little character. And I have materials to make another one so I can do better next time. <laughs> Thank you all so much. That was so much fun. Right, um, I'm just going to quickly check if anything has come up on Facebook yet. Um, and by the way, anyone who gets the option on Facebook to um, upgrade to the new Facebook, don't take it. It's horrific. I really don't like it. Um, I can't find anything on it. Oh, for goodness sake. You know, I can't find anything on Facebook just now. Um, so we'll just go back. But yeah, um, check on check on the pages that I just mentioned um, to see everybody's chicks anyway um, <laughs> Lily Tree Sensible what? Uh, Pexy who's adorable thank you so much uh, Faith Mother Goddess he's lovely thank you uh, Maker somebody made a ring rainbow chick from our instructions so loved it oh that, that sounds adorable yeah that's it add your own twist to these things right guys I think I think that will do us. Um, not sure when I'll go live next. I keep planning to do things and then I go on an epic walk in the sunshine, <laughs> basically. Um, we have, anyone who's missed it, we've had two parts of making my elephant. We've just got the Mandela Nuss to finish here, um, just the doodle on him. So if you haven't seen my past two lives were involved in making him um, he is from a stencil I've created for free that you can print out um, and also the Mandela effects are on the stencil as well so you can print out and do him in any medium you want um, but yeah so this is this is what I've got to finish off we also have the makers sleeping fox that we will do at some point I'll let you let you know um, but we'll get on and do him soon and I still have the Shiba Inu from Hanukama um, felting kits so lots of felting to do um, yeah <laughs> that's the plans um, oh Lily's just uploading hers just now so we'll have to, have to see if I can find that um, that sounds so much fun but yeah so we've got plenty of things if you want to just join in and hang out anytime um, if you want to felt along or anything else um, yeah <laughs> Let's just see if we can find where where Lily's. Oh, my Facebook is running so slow. Hopefully, I can get this get this sorted before we can have a have, have a laugh or a, a love on Lily's. Oh, here we go. I think I think I think it's gonna work. Facebook is running super slow for me. <laughs> oh, fantastic! Right, hold on. I w I won't keep this to myself. Um green and there so everybody here is <laughs> lily ship that is adorable <laughs> brilliant job i totally love it <laughs> that is so cool so thank you so much for sharing that that was cool um Bexy, enjoy the rest of your easter and everybody else have a great day um uh, makers love your chick <laughs> must do a stream together absolutely yes I've been looking into software we can do that so hopefully we can have a stream with all of us together that would be so cool um, Bexy's like yeah that would be awesome yeah I think that would be fun uh, Faith Mother Goddess uh, loved felting together yeah thank you so much for joining us have a great Easter weekend <laughs> right guys um, thank you so much I think that will do for the day I've had fun um, I've, I've made a chick that I'm actually is quite adorable um, I went to pick him up and his legs fell off but he shall get into his pride of place <laughs> this is gonna get so full up um, my little my little crafty critter shelf on the back so we've got the chick there <laughs> okay guys yeah Bexy Lily's is so cute it totally is Right guys, I will leave you to get on with your evening. Have a great time. Keep safe. And yeah, I'll see you again.